On this episode of the Pop Shop Show, we interview a couple you don't want to mess with and make some delicious cinnamon sugar popcorn. All right, everybody. Thanks again for tuning in to watch episode number 13 of the Pop Shop Show, where we talk popcorn, eat popcorn, and most importantly, show you recipes that you can make at home. Today, we're super excited to be bringing you probably the biggest show we've ever done. We've got two hosts, two guests, so <laughs> we're really excited. My name's Zach, owner and operator of Lisa's Passion for Popcorn, and of course, with me always is Brooke, uh, my beautiful wife, and we've got two guests here. Why don't you guys go ahead and introduce yourselves real quick? I'm Bree Chandler. And I'm Jordan Chandler. Right on. We wanted to have you guys on the show um, because part of uh, the mission of this show is highlighting other people's passions and showing what we're excited about and talking about that a little bit. And we've also got some yummy stuff to eat. So <laughs> first though, uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about what you guys are passionate about. Chandler, why don't we start with you? You know, we're both very into athletics, uh, fitness, staying healthy, uh, healthy recipes, things like that. But my, my main passion is uh, mixed martial arts, um, MMA. I'm a professional fighter locally here, um, train out of Layton. Um, takes up a lot of time in my life. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. That's actually how we met. Um, I used to do karate. A lot of you guys know that. I was doing Brazilian Jiu Jitsu for a little while and I went and rolled with the guys at one hit and they're tough. These guys really know what they're doing. There's a huge difference between amateur and professionals. Um, so there's definitely lots of dedication and hard work in that. Yeah. Right? How long have you been doing that again? I've been doing that since 2007. Right so on. Just, oh, just about a decade now. Hold up. I have a question. Who's your favorite MMA fighter to watch? Ooh. See, it, it switches. <laughs> that's, that's the problem. Right now, uh, I really like uh, Dominic Cruz. Oh, yeah. I just love sure. the way that he holds himself, not only in the cage, but out of the cage. You know, we could use more of that. Yeah. <laughs> we actually, you're probably going to hate us. We actually like watching Conor McGregor a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing if not exciting, right? But maybe not as much of a class as <laughs> like you're talking about. He's exciting, though. No. You, you got to admit, I mean, he can fight. Right, right, for sure. <laughs> Ask her about getting swollen gains and stuff. So, Bree, tell us about you. What are you passionate about? Um, so, I do figure competitions, like bodybuilding competitions. I've been doing it seriously since 2014. So that's I figure it's a good addiction compared to other addictions <laughs> that's I can have. <laughs> that's true. Well, obviously, going to the gym and working out is a huge part of that. But mm -hmm. I've heard that um, your diet is even like way more. Important. Yeah, yeah. So I eat like every two or three hours. Um, Me too, but I'm pregnant. So. <laughs> <laughs> different <laughs> different <laughs> reason. I keep it pretty clean, like lean meats, vegetables. Um, and then I measure out my carbs and stuff and make sure that I'm good on my fats, carbs, and protein. Oh, yeah. That's dedicated. That's <laughs> awesome. I'm very impressed. Yeah, which is harder for you, hitting it hard at the gym or making sure that you don't screw up on your diet during the day? All of it is kind of a mental game. Like um, when I'm building, it's a lot easier because I can still have cheat meals and I can still have like things here and there that I can kind of play around with macros. Um, but once I start really dieting and I'm in prep mode, then it gets really serious and I get really strict and that's when you have to be very careful. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> like we'll do a 12 hour day at the popcorn shop and then we're like, we need steak, we need ice cream, we need cheese fries, like it gets all, all the, the fast. food. Yep. food yeah. goods. <laughs> all of my cravings. <laughs> <laughs> Baby on the loose. <laughs> he fought his way out of his cage. <laughs> He's like, hey, I believe I've done this for a while. Either of you like, do you struggle? And the other one has to kind of like push you along. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I feel like there's, we both have that. You know, there's there's times of weakness for sure. I go to almost every show she's at. Awesome. And just, you know, for the, the mental aspect of it, more or less anything. Oh yeah, yeah. for sure. Absolutely. Well, we we kind of take turns. Like I'll be having a hard day, so he steps up and like, he's <laughs> the hero. And then he's having a hard day, so I step up and. <laughs> yeah, kind of absolutely. Turns. Like who's stronger? She is. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> We're going to get uh, diving into this uh, do-it-yourself recipe that takes two seconds. It's basically a two-step recipe, but I want to highlight some of the health qualities of what we're talking about because we've got two highly tuned athletes here <laughs> that, you know, might not have as much wiggle room on their sweets as other people might. And so popcorn, fortunately, by itself is actually a pretty healthy mm -hmm. food. It's a whole grain. It's relatively low in calories. Um, but fiber. yeah, exactly. <laughs> what we've done here is we've um, cooked this batch with coconut oil, which is a little bit better for you than canola oil, uh, but still has some taste in it. 
Um, basically, if the popcorn is yellow when you get it, uh, there is artificial butter added or canola oil and some other stuff. Popcorn is actually naturally white when it pops, so that's something that you can look out for. We're just gonna dump that in the popcorn bowl right there. I had to get a little bit of a bigger one. This is about eight cups of popcorn for this recipe, but this one is super messy when you start mixing it around and stirring it, so that's why I got a bigger one. Um, and the next thing that we're gonna do is take our melted butter right here. Not as much as they do at the movies, okay? We're just gonna put on enough that the cinnamon and sugar sticks, okay? So actually, Brie, can you just dump that on there? Make sure that it spreads out a little bit. Just enough to give the sugar something to stick to. And then I'm gonna put our cinnamon sugar together real quickly. Um, it's one teaspoon. This is my baby's spoon. <laughs> You guys have been to the shop, you've seen Baby J around here. This is the only teaspoon we had. <laughs> we use tablespoons for everything else that we're cooking here at the shop. So one teaspoon um, of cinnamon. We're just going to mix that with the sugar. And just like Brie did with the butter, we're just going to dust that across the top. The hard part about this is making sure that you get it coated evenly. That's why I said get a big bucket of popcorn. Because um, getting that to coat evenly can be a little bit difficult. Well, it's even like there's cinnamon sugar on the bottom like it just went straight down to the bottom yeah yeah so <laughs> some of it's gonna stick to that butter and then the rest of it I mean having a just sugar at the bottom like bottom of your cereal bowl that's never yeah, too bad right like that, like, <laughs> yeah kind of stir with, you, with your popcorn it's <laughs> a little bit of sweet and salty together I think I like that nice. Perfect. is it good yeah. yeah let me have some Brooke you better dive in too I'm about my two hour mark <laughs> <laughs> no I really like this because one of the biggest things when you're dieting, especially when you're getting close to competition, is the cravings. And you'll get cravings out of nowhere. I, I kind of liken it unto like a pregnancy cravings. <laughs> because, Seriously. you know, we always, say, we always say we know we're dieting when we're watching TV and the Carl's Jr. commercial comes on. Mm. And it's something that we're not, something that we normally don't we never want when we're like, we start drooling. <laughs> so, I mean, things like this, they keep you sane and they keep you focused without falling off the wagon right. per, you just you know, get a little taste per se right yeah absolutely anyways guys can't thank you enough for being on the show <laughs> super fun to get you guys, get to know you guys a little bit better and to have you guys making popcorn with us it was awesome was thank you <laughs> awesome <laughs> everybody thanks again for watching episode number 13 of the pop shop show where we talk popcorn eat popcorn and most importantly show you recipes that you can use at home thanks again one more time to the chandlers <laughs> and uh have a nice day out there guys try this snack to stay sane with your diet. <laughs>